This is the EVO 2022 match between Clockwork and Mad Dro. If you guys are wondering why I recorded this handheld, it's because in EVO they did not allow people to just use tripods unless you were working for them, like on their staff. But anyway, so I apologize for the shaky cam here. But as we can see, Clockwork is doing what he does, uh, doing Clockwork shit. Uh, but then he just got rocket punched to the corner. Now Strider is a godlike character, especially when paired with Doom. Arguably the best lockdown combination in the game, along with Spiral Sentinel. But Strider does have that paper thin defense, and Sentinel will murk him if you play him well. At the same time, he can get locked down. So, uh, you know, Sentinel can get trapped and chipped and all that shit. But anyway, it looks like um, Clockwork is doing pretty well. He just took out Madro's best character, his Dalzim, and now he's fucking up Anacharis. So we got a lot of low defense characters in this match. Anacharis has an incredibly high damage output, but he does die terribly fast. And now we got the Sentinel battles. Uh, Sentinel Doom is not the best Sentinel shell. I would say Sent Cap is definitely the best. Sent Psych next best. But still, it's it's very good. And Clockwork does have a decent Sentinel. And there we go. He takes him out. I just zoomed out just so that we could see, you know, the Evo action going on. We got Joey Bao, a.k.a. Kung Fu Joe, playing on the other setup. And now we got match two. So, um, Madro's Dalzim uh, does play very well. He plays pretty aggressive at times. That three-piece did pretty good damage to Sentinel. Uh, but now Sentinel's got him in the corner again, and he's going to look to keep him there. But Dalzim is sliding that shit. He's doing that yoga slide in this motherfucker. Sentinel's kicking shit, throwing rocks everywhere. One thing about Doom Rocks Assist, it does have pretty quick startup, and it's really good at just disrupting someone's offense. Uh, which is very frustrating to fight against. Madro going for a little curse action there. If he gets the curse there, he can wipe out Sentinel. Frey wants that throw, so he can throw him into the corner. Anakras is one of the few characters that actually sometimes does better when he is cornered because then he can mummy wrap your ass and throw you into the corner and put you in a fucking coffin. Same coffins he drops from the sky, by the way. But yeah, so there we go. Clockwork, once again, doing clockwork shit and looking to lock down Dalzim in the corner. That bomb does pretty hefty damage, but Dalzim's like, nah, I'm out of here. Dalzim can do infinite teleports up there in the air. If you don't have a really good anti-air assist or you don't have a double jump, he can literally run away from you the whole game. Missed conversion right there from Mad Dro. He could have done about maybe 30-40% damage with the multi-fierce combo. And he's just really trying to stay away from the orbs, because he knows if he eats those orbs, he's also going to be eating some fucking rocks on the side. And them shits is not part of a healthy balanced diet. Damn, just blasted by that World War II bomb. Nice throw, because we know Clockwork was going for that corner corner uh, trap sequence right there, but Mad Dro is out of there. You definitely don't want to be cornered against most characters in this game, and definitely not against Strider Doom. Clockwork is the original innovator of Strider Doom, that's why the team is called Clockwork, and here he's going to get the infinite. Yes, the forehead infinite. Uh, it does cause a little pushback, but from what I've seen in some other videos, you can do a micro dash after a couple reps and then normal jump and go right back into the infinite. And this should be pretty much done -zo. Damn, finishing it with authority. Made him eat that bomb. There goes Manny Fresh walking by in the background. All right, let's see if uh, Sim God can do some, some Sim shit in this match. Damn, that is not a good start, though. All right, so Dalzim is kind of like a mini Sentinel because his limbs have really ridiculous range. See, that was a perfect example where I think Madro just messed up because he had a nice clean hit and he could have just followed up. Uh, he really actually does this godlike drill unfly infinite. We call it the DUI infinite. But it seems to be really hard to pull off in actual matches. But if you Google search that shit, MVC2 Dalzim DUI infinite, you'll find a 100% combo against Sentinel. He tried to get him with the curse, but the orbs protected Strider. And look, Anakras is already at half-life. So that's the thing about uh, Madro's team. You know, he does have one high defense character, but unfortunately his Dalzim and his Anakris don't really have high defense, so it's a very high risk, high reward team. Seemed like there was some flying screen action going on, which caused a pushback on the orbs, and that is a dead mummy. But Dalzim comes in swinging, nice tag. That could have been a dead strider right there. All he had to do was go into a couple hypersentinal force actions, and then after that, damn, back into the trap. Never mind what I was saying, fuck all that noise. Nice teleport right into the free finite. And he's pushing them to the corner. This is what Strider likes to do. He wants to keep your ass trapped. So when he calls them rocks, you got to eat all them shits. And now you're back in the corner. This is not looking good. Probably going to do the flying screen combo. Yup. Nice wake up throw. And that should be a dead Strider. Very well done. 
Probably would have went for a fly, flight um, guard break right there with Sentinel. Sentinel stays above Doom. He can do pretty well as far as just, you know, staying on his dome. Massaging that cranium with them boots. But there goes that pink shit, and that's going to bring him down. When you DHC from Air Photon Array to Hyper Sentinel Force or anything, it brings the character down automatically. You basically get fucked. You could even say you get fucked in the fuck if you really want to be technical. Damn, just finish that shit with the drones. Good games to both players.